Oh, you're here again. Let me guess, ah, hulaan ko. A defense mo na next week. Mali, mali eh. A defense mo na this week. Defense mo na bukas pero wala ka pa rin PowerPoint hanggang ngayon. Don't worry, my friend, because I got Shu in a yet another cramming session. I am Gerald Shu, your resident YouTube research groupmate, and this is Research Tool. Okay, so based on my survey, marami sa inyo ang malapit na mag-defense. My God, good luck. So for this video, we're going to talk about your defense presentation. The big day is coming. Ito na yung nilulok forward yun na araw. Matatapos na lahat. Pero the problem is, how are you going to do it? Again, let's start with the basics. Ano ba ang isang research defense? Basically, sa isang research defense, ipepresent mo yung naging research mo sa board of panel at saka dun sa audience mo. Kailangan mong i-defend yung validity at saka reliability ng research mo. Ang pinaka-goal sa isang research defense ay maipaintindi mo dun sa panel at dun sa audience mo kung ano ba yung naging takbo ng research mo. And that is actually the best way to prove that your research is valid and reliable at ikaw yung gumawa. So, importante na malaman mo kung ano ba yung magiging setup ninyo during your defense. Sino ba yung mga nandon? May audience ba? Mga kaklase mo? Sino yung mga panel? Kapag kasi alam mo yon, you will be able to prepare more. Or kumbaga, masiset mo yung expectation mo kung ano ba yung dapat mong i-ready. Gaano ba katagal ang isang defense? Well, nakadepende yung tagal ng final defense dun sa structure ng program na isiset nung organizer ng event, which is usually yung research advisor. Well, approximately, okay na yung 20 minutes per group. Tapos, yung 5 to 10 minutes doon ay para sa inyong research presentation. Di ba ilang months mo ginawa? Ilang months mo ginawa eh, tapos ilang pages yan. Ilang pages yan eh. Tapos iperpresent mo 5 to 10 minutes lang. Ba't ganon? But actually, that is your first challenge. Dito mo mapuprove na naiintindihan mo talaga yung research mo. Kasi meron ka lang 10 slides ng PowerPoint at saka 5 to 10 minutes para i-explain yung naging flow ng buong research mo na ginawa mo for months. Imagine. And just like what I always say, yung quote ni Albert Einstein, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. So when it comes to the format of your PowerPoint, please, wag, wag niyong gawing fair, yeah, please. <laughs> as much as possible, keep your PowerPoint presentation as formal as possible. Depende pa rin sa topic niyo kung saan niyo gusto maglaro ng mga design, pero as much as possible, keep it very subtle and formal. Kasi basically, this is a formal academic event. So as much as possible, professional yung magiging delivery natin. Baka naman mas marami pa yung animations na nilagay mo kaysa dun sa substance ng PowerPoint mo, B. Baka ikot-ikot pa yan dyan, no? Tapos ganun-ganun, tapos wala din pa na. <laughs> It can also take time. Pwede yung kunin yung time nyo dun sa 5 to 10 minutes. Kakaikot niyang ganun, naubos na yung oras nyo, ba? So make sure to be more practical when it comes to your presentation. So for me, what's really important is the content and the substance of your PowerPoint rather than the design. Like supplemental na lang yung design, bonus na lang yun kung sakaling maganda yung design. I really recommend that you focus more on the content of your presentation because that's what's gonna speak. Siyempre, una sa lahat, first page, we have your title page. Baka naman, di ba? Baka naman nakalimutan mong ilagay yan. Uh, lagay nyo dito yung title ng research nyo. Uh, kayo na mga researcher, uh, yung school nyo, yung section nyo, grade level, course, at saka yung research advisory ninyo. For the next slide, of course, insert your introduction. Ito dapat maikli lang ha, huwag ka maglalagay ng paragraph dyan, me. So for your short introduction, dapat makita kung about saan ba yung topic mo. Pangalawa, ano ba yung research questions mo? Bakit mahalaga na masagot yung mga research questions mo? Bakit mahalaga na gawin yung research mo? And lastly, ano ba yung mga objectives ng research mo? Ano yung gusto mong ma-achieve? For your third slide, pwede mo nang ilagay ang iyong RRL. o o b r r l ha? Hindi ito copy-paste, hindi ito screenshot. B. Usually, super haba ng mga RRL. At kung ilalagay mo to sa PowerPoint mo, B, good luck. But my suggestion is, ilagay nyo yung RRL synthesis na hina-highlight kung ano ba yung mga importante na literature. I-highlight nyo lang yung mga relevant at current na researches that are very related to your research. Isama nyo na rin yung mga current na weaknesses dun sa topic na yon na nag-push sa inyo para gawin yung research nyo. 
For the next slide, we have your methodology. Basically, ito yung procedure ng pag-execute mo dun sa research mo. For me, the best and the simplest way to present your methodology is through a schematic diagram or yung parang flowchart ng procedures ninyo. Dapat masabi nyo kung ano ba yung nature ng research nyo, qualitative, quantitative, mix. Ano yung method na ginamit nyo at bakit yon yung method na ginamit ninyo. Dapat masabi ninyo kung sino ba yung target nyo na population, ano yung ginamit nyo na sampling technique at bakit, um, paano nyo inanalyze yung information na nakuha ninyo. Next of course, we have your results. For this part, basically, ilalagay nyo lang yung mga pinaka-importante na tables ninyo. Ilagay nyo lang yung tables na mas makakapagpaintindi dun sa audience ninyo kung ano ba yung naging result ng research ninyo, ano ba yung nadiscover ninyo, ano ba yung nalaman nyong bago, at ano yung nalaman nyong sobrang importante. And that's the thing with having very limited slides. Kailangan mo lagi isipin, ano ba yung importante? Ano ba yung gusto kong malaman nila? Ano ba yung dapat nilang makita? At kapag dinoktor mo, itong part na to, manda ka, pagdadasal kita. Next, ito na ang madugo sa lahat ang yung discussion. Dapat dito ma-highlight mo at ma-explain mo kung ano ba yung meaning ng mga significant na findings mo. Dito sa part na to, i-discuss mo na yung major findings at ano yung ibig sabihin nila dun sa research mo. Ano yung contribution nila dun sa research mo. Sinusuportahan ba nila yung alternative or yung null hypothesis. Pwede mo ring sabihin kung ano ba yung relationship ng mga findings mo dun sa mga related literature na nahanap mo. Sinusuportahan ba ng research findings mo yung mga previous na studies or may bago kang nalaman? Dapat ma-explain mo rin yung mga results na nakuha mo, yung mga data na nakuha mo. Kung meron bang bago, kung mayroong unusual, dapat alam mo kung bakit yun nangyari. So basically, dito ba tinatanong ka na, I deserve an explanation. I deserve an acceptable reason. At yun yung kailangan mong i-present dito. And finally, your conclusion side. Basically, summarize mo yung kabuuan ng research mo. Dito, basically, sasabihin mo lang kung ano ba yung final conclusion mo, ano yung uh, pinakanalaman ng research mo. Dito, pwede mong i-present ulit yung mga research questions mo at kung paano sila sinasagot ng mga research results mo. Also, dito mo na rin masasabi kung ano ba yung contribution ng research mo. Dito ka natatanungin kung ano ba yung ambag mo, ha? Ano bang, ano bang ambag ng research mo na yan? Baliw na baliw kayo sa research! Also, pwede nyo rin isingit dito yung recommendations nyo for future researchers. Also, pwede kayo mag-prepare ng extra slides para dun sa mga pwedeng itanong sa inyo ng panel para prepared, ganun, laban, ganyan. For example, feeling nyo matatanong yung isang part kasi super complicated niya. You can actually prepare a slide for that, especially kung makakatulong yung visual presentation para mas maintindihan siya ng panel. Bonus points yung sa inyo and that's actually a good impression kasi prepared, ganun, prepared, pinaghandaan, matalino, ganyan. Here are some of my tips when doing your defense presentation. Of course, start with a really strong introduction. Dapat makuha mo on your initial statement yung attention ng audience and nung panel. What I usually do is dinadaan ko siya sa lakas ng boses ko at dun sa statement ko. Usually, kumukuha ako ng statement from my introduction. Usually, kinukuha ko yung starting statement ko dun sa background of the study ko. After my opening statement, dun ako magpapakilala at i-introduce ko yung research title ko. Also, you have to greet and acknowledge the presence of your audience and your panelists. For example, here's how I usually do it. Thousand cases of extrajudicial killings has been recorded since the start of war on drugs. The question is, are these people killed the only victims of war on drugs? Good day, my dear panelists, my audience. My name is Gerald Chu, and I'm going to present my research entitled Oplan Tokhang, a Penomological Study on the Live Experiences of Citizens Living in a Drug-Exposed Community that Involves Extrajudicial Killing. Diba mas may dating kasi parang makukuha mo agad eh yung attention ng audience mo with your opening statement. During your defense presentation, you have your PowerPoint. Pero yung PowerPoint mo na yan ay gabay lamang B. Hindi ka magbabasa from there ha kasi hindi to sabay ang pagbigkas. Okay? Kung yung PowerPoint mo ay nagbibigay ng mga important terms, ikaw naman ngayon yung magbibigay ng explanation at saka elaboration kung kailangan. 
As much as possible, lagi nyo lang tandaan guys, be direct to the point, be precise and direct to the point. Hindi kailangan mataas yung vocabulary, hindi kailangan ng technical and complicated terms, dapat precise and direct to the point, mas simple, mas maganda. So during your presentation, isipin nyo na nag explain lang kayo sa isang bata. Paano nyo explain sa isang bata yung research nyo? So the simpler, the better. Yung goal mo talaga is to explain kung ano ba yung naging flow ng kabuuan ng research mo. Dapat you have to make sure na naiintindihan ng audience mo yung sinasabi mo. Since yung PowerPoint presentation ninyo ay pwede nyong ma-prepare beforehand. Kumbaga before kayo sumalang, ma-prepare nyo na to eh. Make sure guys that you practice as well. Wag yung, wag kayong karam, 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 karam. Palit naman. So yun, as long as you still have that time to practice, make sure na i-practice nyo na to. Kasi it will set a really good impression kapag ang ganda ng presentation ninyo. Ibig sabihin, prepared kayo at saka naiintindihan nyo talaga yung research ninyo. Usually, nakadepende sa defense presentation ninyo yung magiging tanong ng panel. So, kapag kulang-kulang yung na-present ninyo about your research, more likely, mas maraming tanong sa inyo. Pero, kung mas clear, mas substantial yung na-present nyo na information, yung na-explain ninyo, the better. Kasi, ibig sabihin, mas konti na lang yung kailangan itanong So yun, I really suggest na i-practice mo na with your group. Uh, Mag-assign na kayo kaagad sino mag explain nito, sino mag explain ng slide na to. Kung baga, galingan nyo na doon sa presentation pa lang. Tapos, nail also your defense. So that's basically it. You have your defense presentation PowerPoint now. I'm blessing you with all the power that I have right now that you will do really good on your research presentation. So yun, galingan mo na. Claim it already that you will do great. Uh, you will nail it with flying colors. Galingan nyo. And just really trust yourself, be confident, and also prepare. If you have more research questions, just comment them down below. Make sure that you like this video, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Also, follow my social media accounts. It's at Chudas on Twitter and Instagram and Gerald Chu on TikTok. Your TikTok research group mate is there as well. Hindi mag-like, comment, subscribe, and share sa GC ng friends nyo ng video na to. Makukorrupt yung PowerPoint presentation ninyo. So make sure that you do it. Thank you so much sa inyo. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you have more research questions, concerns na gusto nyong pag-usapan natin, make sure that you comment them down below so I know what to talk about next. And again, this has been Gerald Chu, your resident YouTube research group mate. And this, this is Research Tutorial.